Tonight, we are celebrating women who have embraced the world as their oyster, and they are now the pearl. Most of us, when we think about a pearl, we, we visualize this small, perfect, little, round, white, luminous pearl, a little bead. But the truth is, pearls come in all colors and all shapes. Byron mentioned earlier that the pearl is formed when there is a piece of grit or grain, and over time, it becomes beautiful. Sometimes, and most of the time, I'd have to say, on a pearl, you don't get to see the grain or the grit, or in human cases, the trial or the tribulation, because we hold that inside. But once in a while, nature decides that the grit or the pain that cause that beauty will be exposed to everyone. When we received our nominations this year for Women of Distinction, there was a very precious pearl that was presented to us. After we read about her, we did some investigation, we did some interviews of people that she has influenced and helped. And for the first time we decided that because of this pearl and what makes her this pearl, we would like to present the Courage Award. So please welcome back Congressman Byron Donald who will present the Courage Award. What is courage? Courage is strength in the face of pain or grief. Second Chronicles 15, 7 says, but you take courage. Don't let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. After this pearl was presented to the women of this nation, they decided to interview people who had worked alongside her. Here are some of the highlights. Her beautiful smile lights up a room. She is her husband's rock. She makes every moment of life matter. She is delightful and genuine. Her spirit transcends hope, faith, perseverance, toughness, tenderness, and kindness day after day after day. The very first time I met her, she exuded a persona of sweetness that permeated those around her. Even though her extremely challenging health struggles, her sweet spirit continues to bless those whom she comes in contact. Anyone who meets her always walks away wanting to be a better person. Thank you for your shining spirit. Her tenacity flies in the face of the medical condition she lives with. Her benevolent spirit brings calm to others stormy sea filled with the uncertainty and frustration dealing with her own medical and science condition. She refuses to displace faith and hope. She has been a valuable supporter of our fire control district for many years. She served as a member of the community emergency response team where she worked to help educate the public on disaster preparedness and assisted with many community events held at the fire district. She along with other members of CERT volunteered their time and efforts to help keep our community safe. In addition to her work with CERT, she has been extremely faithful in her adherence um, and participation at the meetings of the Board of Commissioners for the district. It is always a pleasure to see her at meetings and her input and dedication are much appreciated. In short, she is one of those rare individuals who make a difference in their world. The Matlache Pine Island Control Fire Control District is extremely grateful that she made a difference in ours. About three years ago, her life took an abrupt change when doctors informed her that she had a rare disease called Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease is a fatal genetic disorder that causes the progressive breakdown of nerve cells in the brain. It deteriorates a person's physical and mental abilities, usually during the prime working years, and it has no cure. Although drugs, physical, and speech therapy sometimes, sometimes can control the symptoms to a point, however, the reality is, eventually, the person will be unable to swallow, walk, or talk. It also has a severe effect on the mood and mental capacity. Rather than shrink back from life, this courageous woman of this nation chose to embrace the world and make a difference in the time God has granted. 
she also chose to wrap herself in the one thing that matters most, the one thing that is the only thing you can take with you when you depart. And it also happens to be the greatest thing you leave behind, love. Love for her friends, love for her community, and the love for the man who chose to marry her. It is my complete honor tonight to present the Woman of Distinction Courage Award to Ms. Darlene Solar.